kind of hit save, so to speak, on the document when we're improving a movement pattern. And so what I'm going to have Kyle do first, you can touch your toes, right? What, what, what I want you to do is, he, I'm going to take it through with him, but with each other, see if you can touch your toes first, okay? If you can, if you, especially if you find somebody in here, a partner that starts here, that gives you your baseline to see if they benefit from going through this progression and that it improves, okay? And so you can see it. So just remember to, to test it first, and then we can go through. Thank you. Then we can go through the movement. So I want feet together, toes, the balls of the feet are up on the foam roll. He's nice and tall. We're going to make sure and use the breath. He's going to breathe in, and then he's going to exhale, reaching up, and then he, as he exhales, as he goes forward, nice and slow and controlled. Once he gets down to his toes, he's going to take a nice deep breath on the way up. If you don't get to your toes, the rule is you have to finish every time. So bend your knees only as much as needed to finish the movement. Okay? Notice it creates a natural weight shift where the hips reach back. And we're teaching the body how to reaccess this very fundamental pattern. We also get the benefit of some posterior chain lengthening because his toes are up and it's increasing the dorsiflexion. So I want to go through about probably three to five with toes up and then we shift to the front. So now his heels are up, the toes are a little bit farther away and it's going to help him counterbalance the hips even more. So it's going to encourage that support to be able to really reach back with those hips and get down to his toes. One of the most common mistakes here is somebody going down to touch their toes and they're looking up with their neck or their head. It's very hard for the body to figure out how to do both those things. So make sure they're looking down towards their toes to bring that full spine into flexion because that's going to make a difference. Yes? Does it matter how uh, far apart your feet are? We'd like you to be as close as you can. If you can bring them together, that's ideal. But if you can't get them together, and if you're wobbly and having a balance challenge, that's your signal to say, slow down. Focus on the breathing and slow down. But if they can't get their feet together because maybe the girth of their legs or they, they just can't because the shape of their legs, then just bring them as close together as possible with toes pointing forward. Okay? So let's go ahead and take a partner through that toe touch progression. 